Hi guys, you're welcome back to our channel. Yes, this is a continuation of our road trip from Enugu to Benin. Yes, if you have not seen the Enugu to Orca series, please do well to go check it out. We gave all the exclusive updates regarding the road from Enugu to Benin. Quite an awesome video to Orca Rada, quite an awesome video. And now we'll be taking this trip from here to Onicha. I think uh, in recent time, this uh, trip, Orca to Onicha, has become one of my favorite trips because you see this road that we are driving on now. If you want to, you know, if you want to doubt me, just stay on this video from the beginning to the end. This is how you are going to drive on this road till you get to Onicha. Yeah, one or two pitfalls with this, which I'll be sharing with you as we continue on this ride. So let's see, let's see an update regarding the current war going on on the other lane. All of that will be sharing with you on this road trip to Onicha. So if you are new to our channel, you are welcome to Alin TV. Kindly do well to click the subscribe button, turn on notification bell to be part of our big family. And for returning subscribers, thank you very much. Really do appreciate your love for our channel. Do well to give us your honest review, your thoughts, your likes, your comments in the comment section of this video. We look forward to it. So let's go on this ride. Like I said, there are some pitfalls regarding this road that I will be sharing as we go on this drive and like i said earlier the updates regarding the other lane as you can see vehicles are currently using it it's looking open but all of the updates regarding how it is from here to on each we will be sharing we will be sharing with you guys so guys let's go let's go to on it's a stone throw now from Oka on it's a stone throw you can even trek it you can even use your bike to go to on each now all the way from Oka. so let's go guys you can see there's a massive construction work still going on on the other lane of the road so those who joined in from the bridge have actually started joining our lane back uh, you know uh, because it's blocked at that end i don't really know why it is blocked because they've actually continued the work to a larger portion of the road so as you can see ahead of us now both lanes are looking all clean I don't know why it's not open for use yet. Maybe they still want to do some finishing touches on the road. And with a very nice drainage system at the middle, very wide. And uh, I think that's going to help control water a lot around this point. So, um, like I said earlier, going to Onicha now is a very, it's a very nice ride. There is no single pothole, I will tell you the truth from Orca to Onicha. No single pothole. You won't jump one at all till you drive your car into Onicha. I think that is, a, that is very much commendable. And the speed at which the walk on the other lane is going, I think in a short while, it will be entirely completed. You can see it's, it's done. It's, it's, it's already uh, done. It's just that it's still being barricaded. I don't know why. So pretty sure pretty sure that very soon it will all be open for for use for everyone to use so if you have used this road in recent time do well to let us know in the comment section and if you experienced this road why it was pretty bad also do let us know in the comment section you know when good things are available it's so easy to forget the bad that's the truth so i think i can't even remember a clear picture of how this road used to be but i know for sure it used to be extremely terrible and bad but now all of those memories are all gone as if it never existed before so that's the beauty of something good something good you know so let's keep the ride going let's keep the ride going till we get into uh um on nature and along the path too i'll be showing you guys where the uh, the airport is situated where the airport, Anambra Airport, is also located. I will show you the community and the way leading to the airport. For as many who don't know, you can check out our video, our video catalog for an update on the uh, and a general overview of what 
the airport looks like so you can check that out on our channel on anambra uh, series so let's keep it going guys to get into our nature so still on the updates uh rocc is the one currently handling the project you can see that the work actually stopped at the back here where we just passed but uh, uh, a bit of granite has been poured on the section of this side and ahead of us you can see that it's already graded it's already sand filled but uh, not yet uh, asphalt has not been poured, poured on it so this section of the road is not yet done not yet completed so the progress is really moving gradually i can't wait for it to be completed because even with this single lane alone going to onicha now is very 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 fast very very fast from Oka. You know, no delays at all, no delays at all. And another beautiful thing about this part again is that the police presence also causing Grilock just like the one from Enugu to Oka is not also very much here. Yeah, just until you see checkpoints around, you know, so that is also very good. So not slowing down people at all. So let's keep going till we get to to get to the point I'll be showing you guys the Anambra State International Airport. So guys, like I said, the road is a clean road from Oka to Onicha. You won't jump a single pothole. No cap, no cap. So if you have used it in recent time, also confirm what I said in the comment session. But like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I said I have a challenge with the road. And the challenge is it being a single lane road because it's, it's very busy you can see the traffic of cars you know some days are even much more busier busier than this so you need to be extremely careful when overtaking you need to be extremely careful even when driving on your own lane because some crazy drivers will just overtake i've had an incident on this road that was so so scary in fact everybody that they thought it has happened you know with a car ahead of me who saw an incoming vehicle trying to overtake another vehicle? The lady got scared, trying to match, stepped on a brake, and the car spinned a 360 degree ahead of me. Well, we are on very serious highway. I even stopped the vehicle. I don't know. But that aside, so this is the airport. You can see the sign. So this road leads you directly into uh, the airport, the Anambra State International Airport. So that is where you go straight to the airport. So the airport is just between Onicha and uh, Oka in the, uh, I was there of this community, I've forgotten. So you guys seen the video, remind me of this community where the airport is located in the comments, in the comment section. So it's just in between Onicha. So if you are based in Onicha, you can easily catch up with your flight if you book like two hours ahead of time. So in 30 minutes or one hour, you're already at the airport. Also same thing for people coming from Oka as well that it will just take traffic away from the airport axis so no matter the amount of flights coming in or going out so we won't really see traffic within this axis i believe by the time the second lane is completed it will be an amazing experience using the anambra state international airport so that is the update guys so like i said earlier you can go check out our video catalog one update regarding airport so we, we we did a couple of videos there when the airport was still very much under construction and even when the kids started activities so all of the videos are there so you can just go and check it out to have a general overview of what uh, what the airport looks like i know some of the things may have changed but i don't think there will be much uh, difference from the video we did uh, some time ago so go check it out leave your thoughts in the comment section when you see the video so in a short while for those who are very familiar you know that onicha is already staring at us so we'll be in onicha very 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 soon like i have to say i said onicha oka to onicha now is less than 30 minutes if the road is clean yeah if you're the only one on this road in 20 minutes you will step on it you will be in onicha so let's uh let's get there let's get there so a lot of traffic today i don't know why so we'll be in Onicha soon. So if you're still seeing the video and you are not yet a subscriber, we don't really know what you are waiting for. Kindly do what to click the subscribe button, turn on notification bell to be part of our big family. And for returning subscribers, as always, 
thank you very much we really do appreciate your love for our channel so give us your honest reviews and thoughts in the comment section we are looking forward to that so guys we are in the city of onicha the commercial city of anambra state yes this is the Aba of Anambra. <laughs> so we are in the city all the way from Oka. Quite an interesting journey. Like I said, awesome ride, awesome ride. I must tell you the truth. You know, there was no single pothole at all till you get into this city. So quite interesting, quite interesting drive. So thank you so much, guys, for joining us on this ride from Oka to Onicha. So we are continuing the ride to where? To Benin. And we can't wait to like show you guys all the updates on the road as we go. Yes, guys. So we'll be showing you guys Asaba to Benin in our next episode. So do well to click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and share to your loved ones. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If we happen to pass through your community, make sure you let us know in the comment section. We're so excited. We did. Catch you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.